I'm Inwe Zewobilo. I am from Nigeria. Currently, I am the lead on Padam Initiative Digital Inclusion Programs. So we are, what we do is um, connecting young people in underserved communities in Africa to digital opportunities while also protecting their rights online. So we found out that uh, a lot of young people in most of these communities, they are, there's this disparity, there's this gap between opportunities that are valuable to them and most of their contemporaries in urban communities. So we, are, we try to bridge this gap by solving access problem, by giving them skills problem, by also making sure that they have um, meaningful connection to the internet. In 2021, we experienced censorship practically when uh, the Nigerian government on the 5th of June 2021 banned the use of Twitter in Nigeria. And because of the nature of the work we do, um, Twitter was a very, very veritable platform for us to share in the work we do, in interfacing with other people and professionals working working in the same sector. So when that happened, um, it took a lot of persons um, by surprise because for most of us, we've been hearing it, so we, we've not experienced it firsthand. So that was the first time that you woke up one day, you cannot receive messages on Twitter, you cannot tweet, you, but, and even most of us too, it, Twitter was a major source of news of what is happening in different parts of the world. Um, when um, the when the Twitter ban happened. So you find out that at that point in time, because I had the only measurement tool on my phone already, so we were making calls and we are telling people download the, uh, if you can download this, use it. It helped us that when we are when I'm saying um, Twitter is down in this location, I'm not just making a presumptuous statement. I know that I am making that statement based on a tested data that can, that trusted. So, it, um, my own personal experience for it was that it opened me up to another level of advocacy work because we engaged with the Twitter people from Twitter, we engaged with people from government, and I was able to be in the midst of intersection of policy and advocacy. And um, it was a very wonderful experience that any time, any day, I can beat my chest to say that um, it was in my time and in the course of my work that we fought this and we were able to get a wonderful result. By the end of that project, we were able to have information that helped us to engage. That too has helped us to be able to know from time to time, if we say that censorship is going on, if we say that websites are being shut down, if we say that internet is not, the quality of internet is reducing or is not as it's supposed to be, we it, the tools has given us the opportunity of having a channel to come with veritable information and data that have helped us with engaging in our advocacy work. We found out that a lot of people who are in that policy um, sector don't have the skill and the veritable knowledge to do what they are doing. So you find out that most times, even when you're bringing data or information that is clear or out there, they will still argue with you over it. So, we, one of the things we are trying, which is part of what the reason why Paradigm Initiative now is also taking it upon himself and working with some other partners to train most of these people on the other side of the uh, divide of the engagement on the government side and the, um, the, the, the law enforcement side to help them to get those skills that can help them um, appreciate the data and the information that we bring to the table while we are engaging with them. Annually, Param Initiative publishes a result across Africa, report that we call London. Currently, this last one, we were able to get, get, do that research and get those reports from about 24 countries in Africa. And we are looking forward to um, keep on increasing uh, the no number of countries that that will cover in the coming years. And um, in doing that also, we have other platforms that we use, we have the uh, the reporting platform where we which we've created that give people opportunity to report violations 
and things like internet shutdown and other digital rights um, uh, violations. So the experience is, and like we're saying, is um, we appreciate their partnership with Oni in most of the things we do. How, like I mentioned, your tool has come to help us close gaps in areas where we are lacking. So he helped our engagement and our advocacy moves and everything, which is um, we very much appreciated it.